Hey, this is Jay Sons. Back with another guide. This one's going to be about how to create a bandage, a self bandage that you can spam so you don't overwrite yourself. Uh, by default, there is a hotkey uh, called bandage self. So you just filter down here and bandage self. Uh, it basically just uses a bandage on yourself. So I have mine on control C and I'm not damaged right now. So let me uh, drink a potion just so I can have uh, some damage. Uh, but basically it starts to bandage, right? Um, in order to see the countdown, it's under the displays counters bandage timer on and off. But as you can see, if I if I happen to run the, the hotkey again, it overwrites my bandage. It never actually finishes. Uh, so let's write something to replace bandage self. All right, first thing you want to do is again, be, make sure you're on a profile. Uh, normally I'm on please subscribe, but I'm just going to stay on my main profile today. We're going to head over to scripts. Should we make a category called combat? Sure. Add a new category, combat. Makes things all pretty. Under combat, we're going to say new, uh, and then we'll just call this AIDS. Sorry. Uh, so basically, we just want to make sure that we can click a bandage, right, uh, without overriding ourselves. So let's go ahead and do that first. We're going to do greater than info on the bandage, just so we can see what it's called. So there's an item name and uh, ID. We're going to get crazy, and we're going to use the item name. Even though it's got weird symbols in it, we're going to just leave that in there. So we're going to say if find type. And I'm going to do double quotes, clean bandages in our backpack. And if, and then we'll also say else. Overhead, no aids. And, and 34, color 34, hue 34. Save. And let's just try that real quick. I'm going to put these on the ground so I don't, I'm going to automatically pick it up because I'm on scavenger mode. We'll do that in another video. Anyway, we're just going to assume this works. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to de-click type clean bandages from my backpack wait for target and then hockey target self i always use hockey target self but there's also all these other ways you can target like just calling the target and then there's a built-in self variable and i just keep it hockey self just know there's different options of targeting and my scripts aren't always perfect uh just kidding they're always perfect <laughs> except for the first video <laughs> anyway, uh, D click type clean bandages, wait for target hotkey itself. Okay, so basically, you know, control C was my, the built in hotkey one. And this one, I'm going to just say as C, okay, because we're going to try this out. So I'm going to say hotkey and we're going to say C. All right, so now if I hit C, it's doing the same thing as control C, right? So we know we'd only need to apply a bandage to ourselves if we have less than 100 hit points, right? So we can say uh, before we even do this, if hit point is less than max hit point, and if, and then we can say else, overhead, full health. Uh, and I'm gonna save and play this with my hotkey C. So basically, I know I'm full health, right? So I'm not even trying to use a bandage if I don't need it. Because again, the other one, Control C, it it tries to tell us either way, right? The next thing we can do is use a timer to make sure that we don't override our bandage. Because uh, if you remember earlier, if I have less than the health and I run the micro again, it overwrites. And that's the whole point of this video is to fix that. We're going to use a timer variable. So if we say if uh, timer exists not timer exists aids we're going to create a timer called aids and then we're going to say and if uh, timers basically are just little counters they count up uh, we do they they're on the wiki um, under eraser scripting here so outlands wiki eraser scripting and timers so all the units are in milliseconds it's going to be great so basically we create a timer aids so if our hit points are less than our max hit points and our timer aids is greater than, we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of leeway, 11 seconds, because the default's 10. Then we're gonna use a bandage, okay? Set timer aids zero. So it sets it back to zero. So if I save and play this, oh, I need to change this a little bit around. So if our hit points, because basically I wanna say if our hit points are less than max hit points, now we wanna say if, our timer of our aids is greater than 11 seconds. We'll say greater than or equal to 11 seconds. That's when we want to do the click type bandage and target ourselves. Else, and if, and then we can say overhead already running 88. So it matches the color. Save and play. So we're full health. Let's drink a potion. Starting a bandage. 
running it again, running it again. Oh, it's still not working. Why is that? Let's see what I did wrong here. All right, so the reason why this wasn't working is because the timer aids <laughs> already existed in another script. So we're not setting the timer to zero here. So if I save and play this now, it should correctly run. And if I hit C, it's already running. Okay, so we have this working right now. Uh, we can make a few improvements here. So if you just started up the game, this crate timer stores it in memory and it starts at zero. So like, let's say you were a low health and you needed a heal with a bandage and this is the first time you're running it, you hit C, it actually takes a whole another 11 seconds before it works. So after we do a uh, create timer, we're just gonna set the timer of AIDS uh, to be the 11 seconds, okay? Because that way, the moment you log in and you hit this macro, it's ready to bandage. Okay, so again, that's all working. So the other thing that we can do is make sure that we only set the timer of AIDS to zero if the bandage started working after we target ourselves we want to wait a few milliseconds 200 milliseconds and then we'll say if insist message uh begin i think it's begin applying let's see you begin applying you begin applying and if and then we're gonna save and play this so we're full health already running So now I'm correctly spamming it, and it's only going when I need it to. Okay. All right, that's it. This is uh, this is your bandage self replacement. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save this as its own script, as AIDS. Maybe I should rename it bandage self. Uh, the next thing we could do is actually make this a little bit, a little bit more uh, friendly to also do poison cure, All right? So we're gonna make a new one and we're gonna say new uh, AIDS cure, okay? And basically I'm copying and pasting the whole script because this script will say the same. Uh, the other thing that we'll wanna do is to check to see if we're poisoned. If I do greater than info on the orange potions, their name is orange potion, okay? So I'm gonna say if poisoned, I don't know how to spell poison, if poisoned and find type, orange potion in our backpack and our hit points is less than a certain 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 threshold like let's say uh you only want to drink a cure potion if you're below 80 hit points and if and then we'll say drink cure uh drink is a i'm sorry potion cure potion is a hot uh type hot key type so potion cure so that's still i'm spamming it it's good let's go ahead and poison ourselves we go. poison Don't kill, don't kill him. Make sure I don't kill my, my friend here. Myself. I said my friend. <laughs> no, I just play with myself. All right, so I'm poisoned. Am I below 80 hit points yet? I am. Let's drop the hit point check for now just to, just to make sure that this is working right because I feel like not. Let's go ahead and poison myself again. You have killed yourself all <laughs> poisoned. Damn it. Terrible timing. Okay. All right, now we're going to run C. Did I misspell poisoned? Is, it, is that my problem? Or is is cure... So it doesn't think we're poisoned. Oh my goodness gracious. It's be, <laughs> it's because I made a new one. My hotkey on C is bound to the other aids. Oh my goodness. See, debugging, guys. This is this is how like a programmer's life is. Like You write code and you're like, oh, this should work. And then, nope. Cause, and it's user error. So we're going re to reset the hotkey to this new one. Oh my goodness. All right, C. They're already running. Okay, let me poison myself. And then we're going to hit C again. Drinking the poison. Cool. Okay. So, and hit point is less than like 60. Whatever. Okay. So now, if you're hitting this key, it's now a not only a heal, but it's also a cure. So... What's cool about this little script is it's spammable and it replaces your bandage self. And now it's also a hotkey to make sure that you're drinking a cure potion if you're poisoned and you're less than a certain amount of hit points. Now where we're going to get really crazy is we're going to make one more and then we're going to say AIDS loop. 
okay? And basically, we want this same amount of code, okay? Um, we're just going to clean it up a little bit. And we're going to say while not dead. I'm going to come down here, while, and if, and while. If I just save and play this, I am, I'm now just spamming this again and again. So uh, we want to add a wait in here and then remove uh, some of these overhead messages. So wait, we just want to run it every second. Wait a thousand. Okay. Uh, no aids is a helpful message to see. I don't care if I'm full health. So we'll end that. I don't care if it's already running because we know it's working. And we'll add an overhead. Thank yous. And we'll clean this up a little bit. We'll say if our if our poison and our hit points is that. And if we have orange potions in our backpack. Else overhead. Out of cures. 34. For red. Okay, we save and we play this. Now we're we're in a loop. Okay. And I can run around and do whatever I need to do, whatever I want to play. And this is just constantly kind of running. So, as you can see, it started to heal me again. I try to combo myself here. So that we get a little bit more damage. And it should drink a potion, assuming I can hurt myself enough. This is kind of what you can then just play the game with using this, okay? So, so I have it running right now, and I can go just do my thing, okay? I'm gonna shoot this guy. Uh, now the only trick is when I use another when I use another script, it stops working. So what you then want to do is make sure that if you have another hotkey that you've done, you just want to make sure that you replay your loop script afterward. And depending on what you're trying to do, you can uh, go ahead and create a update the hotkey to just call this script, right? Hey, wait a minute, we can make this even better. I should be able to drink a potion, correct? So I'm drinking a, a cure potion. Let's drink a health potion as well. So I'm going to stop the script. So we're going to say if our hit points is less than 45, and if... And we're going to basically just copy and paste this whole script here. Boom. If find type yellow potion. And I know this because I can do greater than info on the potion. It's a yellow potion. And we're going to say drink heal. Save. And we're going to play this. Oops. And then we want to say out of heals. Save. Play. And we're going to come back over here and we're going to try to get hurt by these guys just so we can drink a potion. Oh, don't die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Woo! Drinking a heal. Alright. So this is uh you must wait seconds before drinking another heal. Okay, so now we wanna we wanna make sure that we set a timer for heal so it doesn't spam the, the heal when it can't. So Let's do that now. So basically where we have this uh, timer aids, we're going to do a timer uh, heal pot. Timer heal pot, heal pot. And I, it said seven seconds, right? How, how long is a heal pot timer? Let's wait eight seconds. If the timer of the heal pot is greater than 8,000. So timer heal pot, zero. They even play this. So basically this is our it. It gives us a little peace of mind when we're playing that we uh, don't necessarily need to worry about heals or cures or poison. The only disadvantage is you can't use a bunch of other you can't use other hockey or scripts while you're playing, right? So for my guy, I'm an archer. I like this setup. It's not bad. Um, I have a uh, a skinning macro so I would basically just call the the main loop after I skin uh, so for example if I hit B here you gotta fill in the capture code uh, it re-triggers my my loop right so as I'm playing and I'm and I'm picking up all this leather 
it uh, continues to make sure that I'm getting heals and cures. Just to prove that it's working. Get hurt. Oh, I can't get hurt because I'm amazing. Alright, so there you have it. We have different types of uh, hotkeys we can make. Uh, this is just a bandage self. This is a bandage self and a cure. This is a bandage self, a cure, and a heal. And then this is all of it in a loop while you're not dead. Again, you want to... I like this while not dead thing, but it also has some bugs with it, okay? So if you're attacking a monster at the same time you're applying a bandage, you potentially target the monster. So you'll get flagged as a criminal, right? So this isn't foolproof, but it is, uh, it's is—it's nice to just kind of ease back and, and shoot some arrows at some monsters. Um, but these three are really the hotkeys that are spammable. Uh, and again, this is the kind of assisted loop. So anyway, hopefully this helps you guys out, uh, understand a little bit more. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, loved it, hated it, what you guys want to see next. Peace.